New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News this morning. Good morning once again. I'm Derek Waller. And I'm Shirley Nellicott. Thank you for joining us here on ABC7 New York. We are going to get right to some breaking news with Sam Champion and air quality alert in our area. And uh, Sam, uh, you've been talking about this all morning. What do people need to know as they uh, head out the door this morning? Good morning, Derek. Good morning, Shirlene. Hi, everyone. Glad you're with us on the stream. So let's dive into some deep facts on this. So we have poor air quality again today and tonight. By the way, this is all not just the kind of normal August haze that we build from auto emissions and heat when everyone says, oh, look, it's a bad air quality day. This is real, actual, physical smoke that's coming down from wildfires in Canada straight down on top of us. It happened yesterday. It'll happen again today and likely we'll be dealing with it tomorrow. Heavier concentration of smoke, according to the smoke models that we use, seems to be dropping back in later on this afternoon and evening. Now, I'm going to explain this to you. When you see the light shades, the green, the yellow, that's the lighter smoke concentration. The orange and the red is heavier. So right now, as we look at it this morning live on the model, it's showing a lighter concentration in northern areas and a heavier concentration just a little bit to the south. Here's what happens at 830 in the morning when a little bit better air quality settles into city environments. But look at this afternoon. By 1 o'clock, that orange area, even some purple, which is off the charts heavy concentration, the kind of thing we were in yesterday settles in from about 1 to 4 to 9 o'clock in the evening. So we've got to be prepared for our air quality to rapidly deteriorate again this afternoon. It is hazy outside right now. We have a little bit of a north northwestern wind and our temperatures are starting where they should this time of year, right around 58 degrees in the park. Good morning, Newark. We're 60 degrees right now. Northern numbers are in the 40s, but we also have that air quality alert all day long. No real weather troubles today. We'll build some clouds and maybe even a widely scattered shower, but other than that, we'll stop at around 77. Janice, you've been in, am I right, is it Brooklyn Heights all morning long? And Janice, I know you've got a lot of stuff to tell us about the smoke and what we should be doing, but as you've been standing there all day, have you noticed a difference in the skyline from early this morning to where we are right now? Yeah, you know, this morning, uh, first of all, good morning, Sam. Um, you, this morning, it was kind of hard to tell, right? When it's dark outside, you can kind of tell uh, from the lights that it's a little bit hazy out. But as that sun started rising, I mean, you could definitely see it. It's almost like um, things are a slightly different color, right? And so where we're standing, you should be able to see the Statue of Liberty as long as it's not, you know, a cloudy, rainy day. But right now, from where we're standing, and Sam, you mentioned we have no weather concerns today, it's it's difficult to make out the Statue of Liberty. I mean, it's there. Even some of the boats that are um, on the water near the Statue of Liberty, it's very difficult to make out. So, and you can smell it too. So, all of this, of course, is because of those wildfires burning in Canada. At least 160 burning in Quebec alone, which is about 500 miles north of where we are in New York City. The National Weather Service issued an air quality alert for New York City and parts of the tri state area. And just take a look at the air quality map. Our entire area is red, indicating an unhealthy air quality level. Now, at this point, New York City schools remain open, but students will not be doing any outdoor activities during their school day. And in light of the bad air quality, many of the outdoor events that were planned throughout the city are now postponed or canceled altogether. And health experts say we should all be taking precautions. Oh, so experts say, uh, you know, the air quality will improve um, in the days to come. It will kind of see it fluctuate, but experts do say this is not the last of days like this. We are probably going to see smoky, hazy days like this in the days to come because the wildfire season in Canada is off to such a bad start. So if you are out and about today, uh, the city is urging people wear a mask, um, and especially for those who have underlying health problems and elderly. Elderly and children should take a special care, a special care when they're out and about today. Live in Brooklyn, Janice U Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Janice, it's so great to have you live because seeing the live pictures helps everybody plan what it looks like when they step outside the door. But Dr. Mangala Narasimhan is with us right now, who's a senior VP of critical care services at Northwell. Um, doctor, one of the reasons why we want to get your perspective on this is if the EPA says since we've been keeping records in the 1990s, yesterday was our worst air quality day start to finish. It's something Something to think about, but what what happens when smoke comes into our lungs? What does it do to us health wise and physically? Good morning. Uh, it definitely affects lots of different parts of your lungs. It, it, it causes you to have an irritation. It causes people to cough. It causes 
difficulty breathing because the air is so heavy. So it especially affects people who have underlying lung disease, people who have COPD, emphysema, people who are bad asthmatics. This will cause them to have reaction in their lungs and may cause an exacerbation. So we've been talking to medical experts in the news all the time about this because it is an unusual situation for us to have this kind of heavy smoke concentration around the area. And you targeted some of those groups to think about, and it would make sense to me that it would be people with lung irritations or lung problems, but also heart problems. But but is it just everybody now? Is it the, to the concentration now that we should all be concerned about it, no matter our health? The amount of stuff that's in the air right now will affect everyone and will cause some people to have a, a tickle in their throat, some people to have a dry cough, and patients who have bad lung disease will definitely uh, be affected. So limit your time outdoors, try to keep your air conditioners on and keep the outside air from coming in, close your windows, um, and really think about the fact that you're outside and, and breathing this stuff in as you're exercising and doing other things outside. Yeah, so maybe not even doing that heavy kind of quality of exercise that right. New Yorkers like to do in the park. Dr. Narasimhan, should we be wearing the COVID area masks? Is this something that, that you know, we went through then? Should that be something that we're doing outside or no, we don't need it? I don't think so. I think patients who really have bad lungs should think about doing that if they're going to be outside for an extended period of time. For most of us, this won't cause an issue and, and don't we don't need to wear it. But for people who really are worried about their lung disease and worried about a flare up of some kind, uh, it, it definitely won't hurt to do that. It, it can only help. Senior VP of Critical Care Services at Northwell, Dr. Mangala Narasimhan, thank you so thank much you. for taking You're some welcome. time to help us because, you know, we wonder these things and we see everything coming at us. So it's nice to have an expert on uh, to talk to us this morning. Thank you again for your time. Take care. Heather, I know, and looking at your camera, everything <laughs> has been nasty from go this morning. It has 100%.